We are back on Get Up and let's run the floor through the two NBA games that we saw last night. The Bucks are two games away from advancing to the next round. They tied a playoff record 10 threes in the first quarter and they really never looked back. Crushing the heat 132 98 Giannis had 31 Bryn Forbes a free agent they signed in the offseason had six threes finished with 22 so they take a 2 nothing lead over the heat Giannis was having fun game two Nuggets and Blazers both superstars showed up Dame Lillard and Nikola Jokic the Joker would prevail with the Nuggets winning 128 109 Lillard led the game with 42 32 of those in the first half Jokic had 38. So that series is now tied at a game apiece. And tonight, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and the Lakers will look to bounce back from their disappointing game one loss to the Suns on Sunday. LeBron and AD were held to a combined 31 points. And it is a quick turnaround. I mean, there are some series that were played on Saturday, Sunday. Some are getting pushed back. And here we go. They get a quick turnaround here. So a big game tonight. And here's exactly the right man to break it down for us. Jalen Rose that gets up with us here. All right, Jalen, give me exactly what the Lakers need to do to even the series tonight. Did you say LeBron James and Anthony Davis combined for 31 points? That's right. It would be nice if each of them have 31 points. <laughs> that would be really helpful. And you probably could call it karma that LeBron didn't get suspended or punished by the league for his COVID violation. But either way, you got to give the Phoenix Suns a ton of credit, in particular Devin Booker, because Chris Paul was dealing with a shoulder injury. It was his first playoff game, and he was fantastic in all phases, shooting the three, playing in transition. And how about the big fella DeAndre Ayton putting up a big-time double-double, outplaying Anthony Davis. So for the Lakers, Anthony Davis can't be allergic to the paint. You see that color area on the floor? He needs to be dominant in that area for the Los Angeles Lakers. And LeBron needs to play all NBA, MVP level basketball. Yes, the Lakers have a lot of depth, but this is about their superstars because the big names for the Phoenix Suns showed up in game one, and it seems like Chris Paul is going to be hobbled for the remainder of this series. All right, so it feels like a big night tonight for the Lakers. We will also see the Nets and the Celtics play game two, Jay, and, and it, it's a small sample size, obviously, one game on Saturday night. But, I mean, the entirety of Brooklyn's big three is a small sample size. What did you see from them in that game as far as what your expectation is for this team going through this playoff run? I don't like to do the shoulda, woulda, coulda, but as I was watching the game and the Nets' big three were fantastic once they got going, Kevin Durant had his periods where... He was getting caught on switches, in particular with Tristan Thompson or whoever going one-on-one. -on -one. You see Kyrie Irving against Kimball Walker, and obviously James Harden had their moments. But as I was watching the game, I was thinking, if Jalen Brown was playing, Celtics would have won game one. Mm. And why do I say that? The Nets will tell you. They need to be better. They need to be more cohesive. They need to play with more chemistry on offense. So many possessions, two passes or less for the person who gets the ball, who shoots the ball. Now, that's great when you have these three terrific offensive weapons, but that means it's a make-or-miss game at that point. And then I want to talk about the Bucks. We just showed their highlight. I mean, they were unbelievable last night. And, and it feels like the East has a big three with Philly and the Nets and Milwaukee. And Big Perk was on the show an hour ago saying he likes the Bucks to win the East. Jalen Rose, what do you think? Big Perk is a smart man because... If you ask me to pick between the Bucks and the Nets today, I would take the Bucks also. And just like playing in the NCAA tournament, you're going to play against a lot of different teams. You need to play in a lot of different styles. The same with the NBA. That's why the best team normally wins a seven-game series. And the Bucks have shown me that they can win in a multitude of ways. Chris Middleton has developed himself into a legit clutch performer. Drew Holiday is an improvement at the point defensively. And with this shot making, Giannis improved all around. In particular, his passing and his playmaking. He's still going to be dominant when you need him to be to give you 30. Brooke Lopez is one of the best rim protectors we have in the league. And he can also post up. And then you have wild cards like Bobby Portis. Last night it was Forbes. They're a complete team. They've been together for the most part as a group the last few years, and I like that team dynamic. So if I needed to pick that series today, I would pick the Milwaukee Bucks to beat the Nets. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.